this is our current kitchen and the idea is to move the microwave from above the stove to this bank of double ovens so we have removed the uh, cabinet doors that were up on top and the drawer that was below so that we can move the ovens down and so that the microwave won't be too high here is the drawer over here so after that we're going to uh, order a hood vent and install it ourselves above the stove right now and then we're going to also change the backsplash and paint the cabinets and so we're thinking of going gray with the cabinets because of the granite is like grayish green and this brownish look so now we're about to uh, move the hi everyone welcome back to my channel I know it's been a long time a lot of you guys have been checking on me see if I'm okay and I am thank you for checking I've just been busy with this amazing kitchen renovation that we did we did 99% of everything by ourselves my husband and I and this is the finished result So let me just walk you through what we did. Basically, the kitchen that we had before was nice enough. It was really nothing wrong with it. It just we had brown cabinets that were 30, 42 inches, but they didn't go all the way to the ceiling. And so I wanted something a little bit uh, cleaner, brighter. I just felt like the brown made the room very dark. And so basically to update everything we decided to take the cabinets to the ceiling as you can see here we also decided to paint the cabinets white and that just brings a whole lot of light into the room so these are the existing cabinets we painted those we carried them up to the ceiling we put uh, the glass uh, fronts in to those and then hubby also put the LED lighting that you can change uh, the colors to whatever color you want so you can change it to pink orange red green purple whatever you want so that was amazing another thing that we did is we moved our microwave used to be right there above the stove we moved that over here to the bank of uh double ovens and so we took out a drawer that was at the bottom and dropped the ovens down so that the microwave wouldn't be too high so basically it's still the same height that it was before just in a different area another amazing thing that hubby did is run the plumbing and add the pot filler that you see over there So that makes it easy when we are doing a big uh, pot to just easily fill our, our, our pan on top of the stove. And then another uh, main thing that we did is we also changed out the ceramic uh, glass cooktop that we had, which was just flat. We went ahead and uh, changed that to the gas stove that we have here, the uh, gas burners which is really a lot nicer i think and we also did the same uh just changed the the butler's pantry into the same uh, type of cabinetry here we go that's a better view And then 
everything was starting to look a little bit bland so, so for our island we decided to do a pop of color the island was just uh, a brick island with the cabinets on the side and then we wrapped it everything in wood and changed it to this beautiful teal color I also have always wanted a built-in bench seat in the kitchen and since I love to read so much this was my opportunity to have a, a place a cozy nook in the kitchen where I can read a book on a rainy day and look outside and just relax so we added this bench seating uh, the, dro the doors actually open and there's storage inside and then we also added this cabinet over here for placing cookbooks and knickknacks all the things that I collect uh, over time and the drawers on, on that uh, cabinet match the color of the island just to tie everything in together now another major 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 part of this remodel was this uh, triple door that you see here to the patio this used to be just one door that was just like a half glass panel and so that contributed in making the room a lot dark so we had to get help here and we just want to thank uh, Jace Construction that's my husband's brother Jace Construction out of North Carolina came and helped us put in this huge uh, nine almost ten foot doors and they're just amazing now the kitchen is always super 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 bright which is what I love and I also went ahead and changed out my uh, kitchen nook table to a smaller one that uh, went what that I feel like went better with the new theme and so that's what we have here now so guys before we did this reno there were so many things that i didn't know about uh, construction about how long it's gonna take and how to do crown molding but you can literally teach yourself like we literally did every little piece of crown molding around the room at the top of the cabinets ourselves so don't be afraid to try new things guys you can definitely always learn it's never too late thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions comments concerns please leave me a comment below and i'll see you in my next video